the five reproducible tips that you can use to get into cloud and why they're important. In transparency, I do have a bachelor's degree in audio engineering and a master's in music business, which is as useless as the fire department in Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob joke. Let's go. Hey BFC fam, it's your boy Joshua Tech Dev Walker, your Venti Fried Chicken author and global cloud slinger. This channel is dedicated to technology and cloud computing. So if you're interested in cloud or tech, subscribe now. Tip number one, attend tech meetups, whether it's online or in person. You'll be able to find local tech meetups at meetup.com. My journey started from a simple invite for one of my now longtime friends to a JavaScript meetup. Although JavaScript isn't cloud, it got me into the mix of things, which eventually led me to my technical calling. And cloud specifically has a lot of meetups nationwide. I had the pleasure of speaking at the AWS Denver meetup a few months ago. You can find that link in the description. And shout out to the Denver Cloud Game. In a nutshell, a few things that meetups did for me got me in the tech community, helped me get my first mentors. Then since I was there, I was invited to exclusive Slack channels and other events. It also made me a more well-rounded technical professional because of all the exposure to all the different types of tech. Tip number two, learn the fundamentals of cloud computing. A lot of people start way too fast. You have to learn the test pass before you're out here space jam dunking. So pick one cloud provider, Amazon Web Services, Azure, Google Cloud Platform, as a recommendation to start. And they're very similar from provider to provider, at least when it comes to the core services. I'm talking network compute storage. And all of these providers have Get Started Docs that I'll link in the description. I'll also link some video-based ways to get started in the description as well. Tip number three, get cloud certified in AWS, Azure, or GCP. Although it's not a perfect example of cloud knowledge, it's an employer recognizable start. And will help you get your feet wet to be frank and build confidence. For AWS, I would start with the Developer Associate or Solution Architect Associate. For Google Cloud, I recommend the Cloud Engineering Associate. For Azure, I recommend the AZ-104 or the AZ-204. I'll link all of these certifications in the description as well. Tip number four, work on real world projects. And I know if you're the cloud gang on TikTok, you're tired of hearing me say this. Real world like client applicable, not real world like fist fights in the living room, just to be clear. Certifications are a good start, but employers want to see what you can do in the jungle. Fortunately, I've already done this legwork for you in the video above for AWS, and I also did a video on Google Cloud that you can see above as well. Yeah, yeah, I'll close out the series with Azure soon. I also know you're tired of hearing me promise that. Aside from that, I want to suggest some alternatives. You can also work at real world projects at the following. Internships, working with nonprofits, helping startups and accelerators like I did, or if all that fails, just do it yourself. And if you're stumped, check out those videos I did. Shameless plug. Tip number five, present your work. And this one is crazy underrated. I can confidently say I wouldn't be where I'm at today if I didn't present my work all the time. You have to put yourself out there. Here are two easy ways that you can put yourself out there to attract a job. One, post on LinkedIn as you make progress. Bonus points if you share an article sharing all of the lessons learned that you had. People also love case studies. Another way to attract job leads is present at meetups or webinars. Most of these forums always need speakers and they cater to all levels. Presenting is an easy way to garner attention from employers and start to establish yourself as a subject matter expert. Hopefully you got a lot out of this. Please like, subscribe, and share so that this channel can help more people get into cloud. Also join our weekly newsletter where I talk about a bunch of different stuff, including my own just personal journey. Link in description. Next week, I plan on finishing out the series with that Azure video that you've been waiting for. Train, inspire, relate. Cloud.